You see what that says back there? Nothing happens by itself. That is literally my motto for my life. And it's the topic of the 50th and final episode of the Cheeky Sales Coach. Nothing happens by itself. Okay, don't freak out if you tuned into the word final and you think that we're completely done here. The next video, I'm gonna have a super quick video on my YouTube channel to just talk about what's coming next. But essentially, we're not gonna be doing the 50 weeks. We're not gonna do another 50 weeks of videos. But what we will do is have some occasional videos with some special guests and we'll talk about a little bit of what you need to do going forward, plus respond to your comments, questions, and suggestions. Now to today's content. Nothing happens by itself. I have whiteboards, as you know, around my office and in my house, and all of them have my motto, nothing happens by itself, right across the top. I do a lot of presentations and PowerPoints, and I think, without very many exceptions, that the phrase, nothing happens by itself, has been in every slide deck I've made for the last 20 years. The reason that this is so important is that so many people go to conferences, read books, take classes, go to trainings, and never implement anything. No amount of time, effort, and energy that you spend educating yourself will improve you unless you add actions to the list. You have to actually do something. You have to implement the things that you've learned. You have to take action to move things ahead. One of my favorite humorous questions with regard to sales and marketing is, what happens if you don't do marketing? And the answer is nothing. Nothing happens if you don't do marketing. Marketing is extremely important to your business. And so if you want something to happen, you have to do marketing. But a lot of people are sort of stuck going from inactivity to activity. So that's why we're gonna talk about some tips today on how you can get that going. You might have noticed that I love handouts. There's lots of handouts associated with the cheeky sales coach stuff. When I teach classes, I literally give homework. A lot of times I teach seminars live with 50 or 60 people in the room and I give them homework even though, you know, I'm not going to grade it. There's no way for them to turn it in or whatever. I want them to be action oriented. So today we're going to talk about six or seven things you need to know about nothing happens by itself. Thing number one is simply you must take action. You must do something if you wanna see any results. When I say nothing happens by itself, I mean nothing good, nothing positive, nothing that makes you reach your goals happens by itself. You have to take action if you want to see some results. Many people are paralyzed for a variety of reasons when it comes to taking actions regarding sales and marketing. Sometimes they say, well, I don't know what the right thing to do is, or I don't want to do it wrong, or I don't want to waste my time, waste my effort. And so they spend lots and lots of time buying tools, getting training, building materials, doing rough drafts, engaging people to help them, spending money on coaches, none of which results in marketing, none of which results in sales. You have to go out there and do something. So if it's marketing, write a letter. It could be the worst letter in the world, but you know what? The worst letter in the world is better than no letter at all. 
I have toyed with the idea of sending out blank envelopes that just have my web address on them to see how many people will contact me and say, hey, you forgot to stuff the envelope, idiot. But they took an action. They went to my website. They filled out a form. They informed me. They made contact. Something is better than nothing. Sometimes an empty envelope might even be better than less than that. The point is you have to do something. And in the course of the last 50 videos, we've talked about many, many things you could be doing with regard to social media and newsletters and all kinds of other stuff. We've talked about what's important and what's not, what is sales and what is marketing. But at the end of the day, if you don't take action, none of it matters. So many times I've been at conferences where people take a ton of notes, go home and literally do nothing, not one thing. Please don't be like that. If you need to go watch more videos, do it. But don't watch videos as an excuse to not take action. Obviously related to that is number two, stop spending money until you know what you're doing. So many people buy programs and engage in training and do all kinds of stuff that doesn't make them take action. You can hire a coach. That's great. That doesn't get you sales or marketing. You can subscribe to a marketing program. Good for you. But if you don't read it, if you don't open the envelope, send out the postcard, send a letter, take their templates, update the stuff and move things forward, it's not going to happen by itself. Even if you buy a marketing program where people send stuff on your behalf, that is great, awesome, spectacular. But now you got to pick up the phone and actually make a phone call and ask people for their money. You can spend money on graphics programs, training programs, copywriting programs, programs on how to maximize social media, <laughs> programs on how to speed up your internet, improve your Zoom phone calls, on and on and on. There is no shortage of things that you can either spend a thousand, two thousand, ten thousand dollars on, or one hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars a month times 10, 15, 20 programs. You could literally spend $50,000 and not move your marketing forward and not make any sales. All that stuff that amounts to busy work is not the same as actually doing something. So stop procrastinating and do something. Here's the thing. You have to remember that you can Push things forward a little bit here, get some training here. Push things forward a little bit here, get some education. Push things forward here a little bit, take a coaching class. Push things forward here a little bit, tune up your YouTube, right? But always be doing the push things forward piece, otherwise nothing is going to happen. Too many people get stuck into an analysis paralysis where they simply spend all their time getting ready to do something, but they never do anything. I have known more than one person who has bought into a sales campaign, spent six months writing and fine tuning and proofing the letter that would go out and then didn't call down the people who received the letter and ask them for an appointment, ask them for a sale. You have to take control of this. You have to take ownership of it. And whether you like it or not, if you're going to be in business, you have to do sales. You have to do marketing. Thing number three, you have to prioritize. Prioritize absolutely everything. In fact, there's a double whammy here. You have to prioritize everything in your personal life, and then you have to prioritize everything in your business. You should always be working from highest to lowest priority. And to be honest, marketing needs to be one of the higher priorities. It needs to be something that you do all the time. 
Sales needs to be one of the higher priorities. It needs to be something that you do on a regular basis. You know, the difference between doing nothing and doing something is getting a client. The difference between doing nothing and doing something is improving your business, improving your lifestyle, improving everything about what is important within your life. You like my scenery? You may have seen these surfboards in the background during some of my videos. I know you've seen the entire scenery that I've got here. And it's because I am a huge believer in a philosophy called relax, focus, succeed, which is all about balancing your life. And one of the most important pieces of that is to set priorities to understand what's important and what's not, and to make sure that you do the things that are important to you. No one else gets to decide what's the most important thing in your life. Only you get to decide that. And the second and the third and the fourth most important. The same is true of your business. So if you're having trouble with priorities, I highly encourage you to think about taking some time to just sit, just sit in a chair for five minutes, 10 minutes a day. Honest to goodness, that's all it takes. Just sit in a chair, set a timer for five minutes and think about your business or try to think about nothing. That's better in a 10 minute interval because your brain is going to be full of ideas. Make sure that you've got a notepad, sit there for 10 minutes, try not to think of anything, but when juicy good business ideas pop in your head, write them down. Eventually you will figure out what are your priorities and you will begin to say things actually do have gradations of priority. Too many people believe everything is high priority. And of course, if everything is high priority, then nothing is high priority. So you have to start looking at it a little more closely, a little more detailed. Eventually, the true high priority items will become clear to you. And then you can move forward. But first you have to know what's the first thing you need to do. And that requires priorities. Thing number four, you need to divide your activities into three primary categories. And the categories are, first of all, ongoing activities that never, ever, ever stop. And I'll be honest with you, marketing absolutely has to be in this category. Remember, we had an entire video on how marketing is a game that never ends, right? It is very much like wrestling with an 800 pound gorilla. You might want to quit when you get tired, but you don't get to. You get to quit when the gorilla gets tired. Well, in the world of marketing, the gorilla never gets tired. <laughs> so you have to have these ongoing activities, whether that is a monthly newsletter, a weekly activity, ongoing Google ads, something. Marketing, marketing, marketing is a never ending activity. I will be honest, I think sales can come and go. Sales can stop and start. As long as you have an ongoing marketing campaign that never ends, you can then do a sales campaign as needed. So the second level of activity, first is ongoing, but the second is campaign related activity. So this is a, a regularly scheduled thing. Maybe you have a quarterly campaign. Maybe you have a quarterly activity that you do. You might do something with the community once a quarter. You might hold a public meeting once a quarter. You might do a meetup once a quarter or give a presentation at the Chamber of Commerce once a quarter. Those kinds of things are somewhat regular, but they're not ongoing. They're not every day, every week, every month. But if you have a sales campaign, let's say you have a spring and a fall campaign, or you have a Christmas campaign and you have an Easter campaign, whatever it is, that's a second kind of activity. It takes a lot of very focused effort. And obviously the third kind of activity is a one-time deal. 
Like we're gonna try this really monstrous big thing and see if anything happens. If it works, well, then it might become a campaign that we do once in a while, or it might become an ongoing activity. But, you know, if nothing happens or it's a complete failure, that's easy. Remember, most of the time, nobody's paying any attention to you. So whether you like it or not, it's okay. You can dust it off, walk away, and pretend that nothing happened. Thing number five, and this is just a reminder, sales is not marketing. Sales and marketing are two very, very, very different things. Remember, most of the time when you buy a program that's marketing, your brain is going to think it's sales. Buy this program and dramatically improve your website. Okay, good, that's fine. Just know in your brain that does nothing, zero, to get you sales. A marketing campaign is an expense. And way back, we literally started this 50-week series with a discussion about sales versus marketing and how sales only happens when you ask people for their money. And some people think, oh, you know, especially business consultants, they say, oh, I'm being picky and fine-tuning and da-da-da-da-da. Like, no, this is not about parsing words. The reason I put so much emphasis on this is because so many people spend tens and twenties of thousands of dollars every year on marketing campaigns that they think are going to bring them sales. Marketing campaigns are great and awesome and spectacular. You need the training, you need the tools, you need eventually to engage in all those things. But if you don't do sales, then all of those marketing campaigns do you no good. So you really have to be clear in your head that you're investing in a marketing program and not a sales program. So many people have asked me, you know, what's my fastest path to cash? Which is a great uh, phrase I got from Laurel Langmire. For most people, your fastest path to cash is to pick up the phone and dial phone numbers until somebody says, yes, you can come into my office and give me a consultation. Literally, that is it. Beginning, middle, and end, that's how you make sales. Now, 99.9% .9 of the people watching this video don't want to do that, which is fine. I'm just telling you, I'm going to put it clear and obvious in your face. You need to know for a fact that you have decided not to do the single most easy and obvious thing that you need to do to make sales. Now, full disclosure, I hate making sales. I hate picking up the phone. I hate talking on the phone. I, I hate calling strangers and having them say, nope, 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 no, 99 times in order to get the one yes. I'm not telling you that, that I'm better than you. I'm telling you, I probably hate it more than you do. But the result is I have to have other programs, other things that I do to go make sales. All that really means is you got to have a plan. You have to look at your big picture and say, okay, what am I doing for marketing? What am I doing for sales? You got to do some marketing. You got to do some sales. You got to do some marketing. You got to do some sales. This never ending cycle, will improve your business if you put out the effort. But if you do nothing, if you take another month and say, let me just make sure that I've got the exact right font on my letterhead, well, then you won't do any marketing and you won't do any sales. So it's up to you to actually go out, do some marketing, actually go out, do some sales. The one thing, if I could make everybody do one thing as a result of this entire video series, it would be to take a two hour slot somewhere in your week between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, take two hours of your actual business week and block it off and do nothing during those two hours except either sales or marketing. And for the first whatever, six weeks, you might sit there for two hours staring at the wall and cursing my name. 
That's okay. It's not the first time. But eventually it will take that time and say, okay, let me write a letter. Let me promote something. Let me create an ad. You might even pick up the phone and say, hey, can I talk to you about your business? <laughs> if you don't set aside the time, if you don't make yourself sit down and actually do sales and marketing, it's not going to happen. Literally, that's what this is all about. Nothing will happen by itself. You have to push things forward. You have to take action. You have to do something. Finally, number six, and you're not going to like this. Stop lying to yourself. A lot of what happens in the world of sales and marketing is that people say that they're doing sales, but when you ask them to write down, okay, what did you do? What actions did you take? Their slate is clean. They have not actually sent out a letter, made a phone call, printed up a postcard, asked people for their money. They haven't gone to networking meetings. They haven't followed up. They haven't collected business cards and called people. They haven't sent out emails. They, they, they haven't done anything. Or they did a lot of stuff where they spent money on marketing programs, didn't implement any of it, and now are pissed off at the person who sold them the program. Sorry, you don't get to do that. Now, there are programs, marketing programs, that are sold as if they're sales programs. But most of them that I've seen, probably 90% of what I've seen, they are very clear. We'll help you with marketing, 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 marketing. And it's your brain that is telling you, wow, that's gonna get me sales, 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 sales. <laughs> No, stop it. What you've done is, you know, a signal has been sent and you've reinterpreted it before it hits your ears. Stop it. If you buy a marketing program, that's cool. You should do that to some degree. See the earlier part of this video. But if you do nothing with it, you can't blame the person who sold you the program because you didn't take any activity. And you can't tell yourself that you're doing sales when what you're doing is marketing. If you go out on LinkedIn every day and say, here's some good information, good information, good information. Whoa, wow, wow, educate, educate, educate. All good, all marketing, awesome, glad you're doing it. But you have to understand that won't get you a sale. All that marketing is intended to soften people up so that either you can put them in the top of your sales funnel or they can put themselves into the top of the sales funnel. Too many people in not just my industry, but in every small business in the world, too many people are just plain lazy when it comes to actually making sales. And it's, this is different from hating sales. Like I hate sales, but I'll be honest, I'm not lazy. I, I like to joke that I'm lazy, but I work really hard to make sales. I contact people, I make proposals, I send out quotes, I follow up, I bug them until they either say yes or no. And the reality is I get a lot of no's, but that's okay because I get some yeses. And so I never lie to myself and say that I'm doing sales when all I'm doing is outbound messaging. We would love, we would all love to do something, spend a hundred dollars, do a thing and have a bunch of people fill out a form and say, sign me up for your service. But that's not the way the world works. So a nicer way to say, stop lying to yourself is simply be honest with yourself. If something is a high priority for you, you will do it. Is marketing a high priority? Is sales a high priority? If it is, do it. Your actions will always belie what's going on underneath. If it's a high priority, take action. If you say it's important, do it. If it's marketing, label it as marketing. If it's sales, 
good for you. Because ultimately, if you don't do sales, you need to go do something else for a living because your business cannot grow without signing up new people. Because the clients you have, no matter what you do, some will get old, some will move, some will get bought by their competition, right? They will get merged into another company, some will go out of business, some will be taken over by some economic catastrophe that's out of their control. So you have to be moving ahead, getting new clients simply to stay in place. And with luck, you'll even grow. The bottom line is you can do anything you put your mind to and everything in this 50 week series was intended to help you be a good ethical marketer and salesperson. And if I can ever help you with anything, send me an email, Carl P at smallbizthoughts.com. I would love to help you out. There's a lot of material over at cheekysalescoach.com. Go check that out. And we are going to have some ongoing videos from time to time. There's also some juicy good material, which I will be adding to from time to time over at cheekysalescoach.com. I'm not asking tens of thousands or even ones of thousands. I'm only asking $99. So if you found value in this, maybe go spend $99, but take action to improve your business. And when you make the first sale, send me an email. I'd love to hear about it. I wish you absolutely the best of luck in everything you do. Call to action. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you won't miss a thing.